Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here with Texas Plinking with a little bit of a different video format than usual. Don't have a camera person today, so just have two tripods. This one on me, and then I got the distant camera on our first target, which will be at 455 yards. I guess let's go ahead with the introduction. Uh, not much needed with this because the last video I uploaded, don't mind the locusts, by the way, sorry about that as well. Um, last video I uploaded was on the 4th of July, and that was with this new rifle, the AR-10 from Bear Creek Arsenal. Uh, so that video is a little bit more in depth on the whole setup, but I'll run through it pretty quickly in just a second. But in that video, I only really shot 300 yards, um, just cause we're on a time crunch. And I just wanted to show it in action and get a video out, but I got some more time now. I got some more ammunition. So, uh, we're not going to bore you guys anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna do some long range or at least attempt to, I haven't done it yet. Um, but I went ahead and reconfirmed zero and this time I actually shot some groups. Those locusts need to hush. Um, anyway, but I shot some groups. And so stick around, I'm gonna show you some very impressive groups uh, at the end of the shooting session. Uh, but they're pretty darn good, I have to say. Um, but today we are gonna be using some uh, Federal Gold Metal Match 175 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings. That has grouped the best with this. I'll show you the paper uh, later on. Uh, but I tried three different kinds of ammunition. This stuff is sub MOA pretty darn consistently. So we're gonna run it. Real quickly, let's talk about the gun. Uh, I'll make it very quick in case you guys saw the last video, but starting at the uh, very uh, beginning of it up there, we have got an AAC uh, 51 tooth uh, ratchet system muzzle brake. So if I wanted to throw a suppressor with the adjustable gas plug later on, I could. But right now it helps it with uh, some recoil reduction. Again, that's an 18 inch 308 barrel. Um, kind of a crappy bipod, I won't really mention. I just threw it on for now. Um, Let's see, that is a 15 inch free float handguard with some Magpul M-Lock rail covers on there that snap on in. Uh, this is new, this is a, uh, a little rifle diaper, uh, but it's uh, helping me tremendously. This is a really cool piece that uh, Glorifier sent over to me, so thank you to them. You can get this for literally like $11 or under $12 on Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description. It's really cool. You attach it on the Picatinny rail here and then it clips in with ball bearings, uh, so it's really easy actually to do that. Um, and then you can kind of see that attachment point, clip that right on in, and that's gonna catch all my brass. Um, fortunate enough to shoot on a buddy's property, and I just make sure I don't make a mess of his property, so I clean up all my brass. That makes life really easy, and then I have a zipper on the bottom here, I can dump all the brass, so that's really cool. If you're shooting from a vehicle as well, uh, like on, on the move, like a hog hunt or something, that's awesome, so you're not throwing rounds all over your car, hot brass too, uh, not rounds, but anyway. So we're gonna be using that, so thank you again to Glorifier, link in the description if you guys wanna pick up your rifle diaper. Um, again, we're using the Athlon uh, Ares ETR 4.5 to 30 by 56. Quite a bit of magnification, great glass so far. I've been liking it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, and again, all tied up with some uh, other stuff. This one was helped out with Optics Planet. They actually sent me out the rail covers. They also sent me out the PRS Gen 3 stock from Magpul and the MFT ergonomic grip. So it's got some nice uh, FD contrasting. I think it looks fantastic. Oh, uh, this is new. I recently bought this. I also got the uh, Magpul M-Lock. Um, vertical grip there. So if I want to shoot it offhand, because it's still a gas gun, then I can do that as well. Uh, vortex rings holding it up together, some high rings, the 34 millimeter tube, of course, and that's about it. It's a lot of talking on a gun that you guys may have already seen before, so I apologize if I didn't make that too brief, but it is hot. I don't plan to be here too long. Let's just see if we could uh, nail these steel targets, hopefully with a fair amount of ease. Um, I'm still on my 100 yard zero, so I'm zeroed right now. Let's see, shooting the 175 stuff right now. Uh, some of you guys ask me what app I use. I'm just using a free app from the App Store called Bullet Drop. Seems to do me pretty well so far. You plug in enough information. 450 yards should do 2.9 mils. Let's see how true that is. Uh, as far as windage, um, we'll just fire some shots and see if I have to hold over later on. Let's go for it. You guys are going to have to forgive me because um, I just might miss a couple. I have no spotter. You guys with that zoom camera have a much better uh, reference to where the bullets are going. You might see some bullet trace. You'll see the bullet splash. Uh, this scope, the clarity and the magnification is great, but the recoil will throw me off long enough. So I'm gonna start off actually, let's see here, at a lesser zoom. I'm gonna start off at about 12 power on magnification. Uh, clarity seems to be pretty good. Hopefully if I miss, I just see my bullet splash, but I don't know, maybe we'll get a first round hit. Let's try it out. Not gonna lie, recoil threw me off the target enough, so I don't know where that went. I'm gonna back down some magnification again. Uh, 
All right, well, I backed down the <laughs> magnification and then we got a hit, so maybe I pulled that first one. Let's go up to 10 power. Do it again. Okay, I see that looked to be off to the left just a hair. I'm gonna aim for the right side of the plate, see what happens. I think I only loaded up five shots just to see what happens, but all right. I will note that. Uh, just because I'm anal about this, I'm actually gonna make the correction here. I'm gonna go point two, and that's got to come to the right. Uh, I like this turret, by the way, from Athlon. I have to pull it out and then make my correction so nothing happens on accident. I think that's pretty cool. And this diaper doesn't get in the way, so that's nice. Point two. Hopefully now I don't have to hold over. Uh, let's load up five more, see, uh, see what we can do. I'm confident enough. I'm going to go ahead and increase to 16 power just for fun. Oh, I tried to string them off a little bit too quickly. I think that last one just went a little high. Ah, my bad. Well, I'm confident at this range, but I got to end on a hit. So let's go ahead and end one more hit here. Move over to 680 yards. Just loading one up. I'm confident. Uh, yeah, again, guys, that's a CTS uh, tombstone target and the acoustics that has ringing through this Texas Hill Country money. Um, let's go ahead and give uh, 680 yards a whirl on an 18-inch barrel gas gun um, 308. That'd be a pretty impressive feat, I think, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, really hoping this doesn't take long at all to get uh, on the steel. Um, gosh, it's hot. <laughs> like burning myself even on this mat. That's all right, no excuses. Let's see what happens. This is a really, really weird shot because I got the sun over there too, so it's not contrasting the target so well. And I'm kind of shooting like two inches over like a little t uh, tree branch about 50 yards ahead of me. So shouldn't interfere with the bullet. I'm going to clear it, but it's, uh, it's a very tight squeeze. My, my aim here with the, uh, through the scope, you guys are seeing it kind of as I uh, put the zoom camera a little further off to the left, but this is a re like just threading the needle right here, but should be fun. I don't recommend uh, shooting without eye protection, but um, I'm gonna have to make a bad example right now just cause I, there's just too much glare. I need all the visibility I can get. Dialed up for six mils. Haven't touched windage here. Let's see what happens. All right, I am glad I was able to uh, see it. Looks like it is two just barely off to the left. I don't know if I want to make a correction just yet. Um, let's go ahead and just go for the right side of it. Ooh, is that low? Hard to tell. Let's dial up one more. And go for the right side again. Looks like it was just low. It's so hard to tell. Literally looked like it just went right through it. All right, let's go dead center again. Oh, that's definitely left. Right side. That was a hit. I was waiting to see splash, but that was a hit. Left. There we go. Yeah, two in a row. I didn't get a copy on the last one. That's a hit. All right.
I think I just locked up. I'd like to end on a hit, so uh, shoot. I think I just might about do it. Um, so there's that, guys. I wish you could see it from here. I mean, I'll back out that camera, play some B-roll of that. I mean, like I've done before on previous videos, but you know, this isn't extreme long range by any means. People are out there shooting miles, um, which is pretty impressive. But when you just come on out here, I'm not at a dedicated range under shade, under a nice bench. Um, I just come on out here. I'm shooting out of the bed of my truck with a target, a CTS target that I set up there a few weeks ago. I ranged it out approximately 680 yards. I put it in the calculator and a couple of misses because uh, just so many variables in it, but able to get hits, um, you know, out of this platform uh, under these circumstances, I'm just really happy. It's not like crazy circumstances, but nonetheless, it is hot. I'm sweating like profusely. Um, and uh, it's kind of a grab and dash kind of shoot, you know, just come on out here, set up the, the camera equipment and shoot out of a, uh, this gun goes for seven, like under $700. It's like 650. I got to check again. I'll put a screenshot. This AR-10 goes for under $700. Uh, I know Bear Creek Arsenal, a lot of people want to talk uh, some certain smack or whatever. And in my opinion, you know, um, if you have the penny and you want to spend $4,000 on a pristine gas gun or bolt action, I'm all about that. I have plenty of the high end stuff as well, believe me. And I'm very happy with it. But I'm making videos recently with some of these entry level uh, rifles because I know not everyone um, can throw, you know, so much money into getting into the sport. And so I'm not against these entry level rifles at all. As you can see, it performs really great. And uh, I said I was gonna mention the, the groups or show the groups uh, towards the end of the video, so I'm about to do that as well. But uh, pretty much as you can see here, the optic, uh, this is actually an entry level optic price uh, for the specs, but it is a pretty penny to pay. It's still $1,200 for an Athlon Ares uh, ETR, uh, zero stop, zero reset, uh, everything like that, 56 bell and the zoom range. At $1,200, that's actually unbelievable. Uh, but I'm all about spending as much, if not more, uh, on the optic than the rifle, because at least this could always pop off and be on a different rifle later on. Uh, but right now, these things are actually uh, playing nicely together. They go hand in hand. Um, I I'm really liking the, the setup right now. Uh, later on, I just might show this thing kind of shooting more fast pace and kind of uh, put like a lower magnification optic or maybe even a red dot or something like that. Just show what the Bear Creek Arsenal uh, range can do. Um, obviously shooting 680 yards, pretty impressive, uh, 455 all day long. It could do 680 as well if I was just better uh, prepared for it with a better, like with a spotter. Uh, not to make excuses to it, we were getting hits uh, at the end of the day. Um, and then the 100 yard groups, uh, you know what, stay tight, I'm going to go ahead and grab those. All right guys, so let's get into it on paper here. It might look a little sporadic and I'll explain it. This was also used to uh, zero the rifle in with certain ammunition and confirm zero. Um, but, and this was three different kinds of ammunition types. One being a very, very cheap 7.62 by 51. It's like 147 grain, super cheap, super just plinking ammo. I shot three shots that ended up being about two and a quarter inches. I didn't expect any better. I just wanted to see what the heck it would do and to make sure it was on paper for the side end so I wasn't shooting the expensive stuff um, as much. Then I went ahead and shot some 155 grain. Here, let me put it this way so my shadow's not distracting. Uh, 155 grain American Gunner from Hornady, which is a pretty light round, especially for a one in 10 twist barrel um, of a 308, but I figured what the heck, and so I shot three shots here. Disregard that one, that was like a initial shot that had nothing to do with uh, with this group that was a total side in and it was way off. So um, those three right there are the 155 American Gunner and that ended up being about one and a quarter inch. Uh, measured it earlier, but wasn't proud enough about it to take a picture. Um, the other three groups are these three, uh, these three, and then the last was right here. That was all with the 175 grain uh, gold medal match from Federal. Uh, the Sierra, uh, Sierra Match Kings. And so I tried my best right here. I was a little shaky shooting out of the bed of my truck, but it was good enough to get, I'll throw a picture, exactly one inch at 100 yards. Uh, so that is one MOA. Bear Creek Arsenal guarantees their rifle to shoot one MOA with match ammunition from the get-go. I'm not gonna lie, when I heard that claim, I thought, yeah, sure. Uh, this is my first time testing it out. And so here, here's what it is. One inch on my first three shot group, uh, three quarters of an inch on my second, and my last three uh, round group was right here at exactly half an inch. I will make sure to throw those pictures. Those are the only uh, grouping attempts I, I had with the uh, 175 grain. My first, second, and last, last being the, um, the 0.5, the half inch group. That's pretty darn great. Um, so I know people don't really like three shot groups. That's an average combined of a nine shot 0.75 MOA, 0.75 inch group. 
um, at 100 yards. Uh, that's a big thumbs up for me. I will take that. I went ahead and took pictures of this. I'm going to throw that on Instagram as a teaser. So feel free to follow me at Texas Plinking if you guys want to uh, see that kind of content before it gets live on YouTube. So uh, yeah, my unbiased opinion uh, just after today, uh, quite impressed with the rifle, the optic, the whole setup. Uh, if you guys missed it, uh, feel free to check out the last video where I was just plinking around introducing the rifle at 300 yards um, and all that kind of stuff. But that should just about do it for this video. More long range videos in the works here very soon. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and have a great day.